<laughs> if you have your Bibles, you'd like to turn to Matthew's Gospel in chapter 28. It's a joy to be with you once again and to have this privilege of sharing the Word of God with you. Matthew chapter 28. Now I take for my title for this message this morning, the words we sang in the first line of the first hymn we sang together. Christ the Lord is risen today. Well, it's not very original, I'll give, give, give you that. But what a truth, Christ the Lord is risen today. For the last 2,000 years, when Christians have assembled to worship on the first day of the week, they have declared to an unbelieving world, Christ the Lord is risen today. The Christian looks at the atheist as they go and worship their dead heroes. The Christian looks at the various religions of this world as they see their leaders dead and buried. And we say, Christ the Lord is risen today. We have a risen living Saviour. That's why we have assembled together to worship him. Christ the Lord is risen today. Now that's my title. This is my text. Verse 6 of our chapter. He is not here. For he is risen, as he said. 